Hi everybody, it's Margaret Crane Luria with Block to Brilliant. Welcome to the ADHD Video Club at ADHDvideoclub.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about the three most helpful accommodations that ADHD kids can have at school. I get this question a lot and 504 plans typically are written with, uh, a, there's a template. So they, they will tend to list the, the same things over and over and over again. And some of those will be helpful to your child and some won't. So you want to personalize it for sure. The top thing that I would say is important is that your child be able to sit where they want to. And the idea behind that is not where they want to so they can talk. It's the idea is where they want to sit so that they can get work done. Now, some teachers feel that uh, having them in the front row is better. That's not true. It, some kids can't work well in the front row. They have some anxiety issues and being in the front row is very stressful. Some kids like to have a wall in back of them because it makes them feel more secure. Some kids like to sit in a corner. Some kids don't. So it's really important to get the child's input when the teacher is choosing a seat. The other thing is that we parents often worry that the child will stand out. My feeling about this is that if your child is doing poorly in class, they're probably standing out already in some way, and that really what we want is for them to be able to learn. So if your child needs to sit on a ball, then let them sit on a ball, and you can let other kids sit on a ball too. It, it, it's not a horrible thing. In fact, the balls, these exercise balls, are shown to calm students down. If he or she, your child, needs to be in front, but off to the side, or in a corner, or near a window, or on the left side, or the right side, just get the feedback. Maybe your child needs to go into the room and see what feels best. The second accommodation that I always recommend is that students not get unlimited time to get their work done, but they but that they be able to add a couple of days to an assignment or a project. If it's a project, I would say a couple days. If it's an assignment, like a homework assignment, maybe one extra day. With the caveat that they email their teacher and say, I'm going to need an extra day, so that they are actively participating in this process. As it's important for them, to, for their brains to be active in this process in order to understand the process itself. If they're just always assuming they're gonna get an extra day and they don't talk about it, it really kind of buries that and doesn't hold them truly responsible. So. For instance, if they come home and the homework assignment is too hard, they say they send an email to the teacher and say, I need an extra day for this, and could you help me with it during lunch or your tutoring period or whatever that is. So that's the second thing. Having, having a, an, an unlimited amount of time to get work done is just very stressful for someone with ADHD and difficult to comprehend. What does unlimited mean? So even if it means that your child doesn't get the assignment done in that extra day or two days or three days, that's okay. It's really important that your child learn boundaries and limits. And the third thing that I would say for an accommodation is that projects be broken down into smaller parts with specific due dates and 
that the teacher check those parts each due date. Now, a teacher could make this accommodation available to all her students if she, or, her, or his students if he or she wanted to. But for your child, it's important that there be due dates and that the teacher check in. So not, not that it's sort of like, well, make sure that you have part one done by June 1st and then make sure you have part two done by June 5th, but I'm not going to check it until the end really important for an ADHD child to have feedback during a process. Really important. Because again, it's, it's like you're working in air. It's like you have no frame of reference, no context, if nobody's co uh, commenting on it. So it's really important to, for the teacher to be engaged with that process. I hope this helps. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.